Welcome to Programming Castle, I'm Anand and you're watching the sixth episode of Unreal Engine 4 C tutorial series. Today we are talking about a thing called Transform in Unreal. So without further ado, let's get started. In this episode we are covering F Transform. So what is F Transform? Well, first and foremost it is a C struct. Everything in Unreal that has F prefix is a struct. So if you don't know what struct is, it is a collection of elements grouped under one name. I created one C++ project to show you basic example of struct. As you can see here we got struct keyword and name of our struct. And inside we got all kind of different elements. This here is a body of struct. Body of struct is marked with these brackets and you got semicolon at the closing bracket. So if you actually look at if you go if you actually go to our flying furniture class you can see that we already used one struct in our code. We use f vector and f vector is also a struct because it has f keyword. Well it actually has f keyword because it is a struct. And if we right click on f vector and click on go to definition we can see here that 100% F vector is a struct and it has body and inside it got all kind of different elements. So let's get back to our example and actually see how can we create a new instance of this class. So you need to type name of your struct, so tutorial struct in this case and now name of your instance. So let's say YouTube for example. And if you go to Unreal project you can see that we also created a new instance in the same way. So how can you access these elements? Well, you can use dot operator. So you just you type name of your instance dot and as you can see now I can access this example float variable and I can say equal to 10 for example or plus equals like we did in our flying furniture class. So F transform is composed of translation, rotation and scale. And in Unreal Editor, if you click on any actor, you can see in details windows this transform category. And you got location, rotation and scale. So this here is translation, this is rotation and this is scale. Now let's see how can we get access to them in code. So open Visual Studio, however you want. And let's write some code in begin play method. So in order to get transform, guess what? You need to use get transform method get tran transform all right and as you can see this gives us back f transform so we need to store this in f transform so f transform let's say for example actor transform equals to get transform now let's use dot operator on actor transform and see what we can get so actor transform dot and you see all different functions you can call for example let me show you the most important ones you can call get translation and if you call get translation you will get these three values here x y and z we can call get rotation we can call also get scale 3d and that will give us these values here and for translation you can also use get location and this will give you this location here and let me show you why is this same as get translation so if I click on if I right click on get location and click on go to definition as you can see get location is basically calling get translation method so no matter if you type get translation or get location you will get the same results now I want you to use UI log and print actor location, rotation and scale in UI log. Solutions of these exercises are in next video, but if you are brave enough to try to take this challenge, well one tip for you, you will need to use toString method. Thank you for choosing this tutorial, have a great day and goodbye. 